Another very important and useful feature in Excel is the auto collect options. A lot of the times you probably you're doing data entry, you're typing something and there is a particular word. For example, maybe it's the name of your company or it is um, maybe a particular symbol or just something that you use most frequently. There's a way you can add that into Excel so that Excel does some sort of auto correction or it's a way to do auto completing uh, if you understand what I mean. So let me give you an example. If I do something like, if I type something like um, this, I want to type want and I do this. So what did I type here? If I type W-A-T-N and I hit enter here, you see that Excel auto completed it to want for me. The same way if I type something like this, I want to type about it and I do not put a space and I hit enter. You see that Excel auto corrects it and then it sets a space. So what is happening here is there are a few words that have been loaded at the back end of Excel that tells Excel what you are actually trying to do and that is the only reason why Excel is able to auto complete it. Let me show you something here. So if I go to file, I come here to options and then here on options I come down to proofing. Once I get to proofing I come here to auto correct options. On this window that you see you see that at the bottom here there are a few things here if i scroll down you see i have about it so what excel has been trained with is that whenever a user types about it without a space replace it with about it with a space in between which means that from here if there are some words that you would want to type in most frequently you can actually write type in add a short form of that word here or that phrase here and excel would always auto complete it the way you want it to be written so there are a, a few of those some words here so this explains why you typed in something wrongly in excel and excel just corrects it and you you are amazed that this came out correctly so what I would do is that my company's name is ID Analytics, but I want to type in ID Analytics every single time I want to update a workbook. I just want to be able to type in maybe just ID and I want Excel to complete it or to correct it to mean with ID Analytics. What I will do from here is that at the moment, if I go out of this and I come in here and I type in ID, you see that it just reads ID, nothing happens. If I go back to file and if you want to go to Excel options, from here the shortcut is Alt T O. Alt T O takes you to Excel options and I come here to Profine. I do auto correct options and here I can type in what I want to replace. Whenever you see ID, I want to replace it with ID underscore analytics. That's the name of my company, so that's what I want to replace it with. Once I've typed in what you want, what the short form of the word will be, and then what you want to replace with, you can click on add. Once you click on add, it gets added to this list. And I click on OK. I click on OK. And now if I type in ID, you see that Excel auto completes it, and then I get ID analytics. So instead of having to type in ID analytics each time, I can just type in ID and then Excel does the rest for me. But this is exceptionally useful when you have certain symbols. So you, Excel has a symbols library. If I come here to insert and I come to the far right, you see here we have symbol. If I come here to symbol, Excel has this long uh, list of symbols and one of which is the Naira symbol. So I like to use the Naira symbol as an example because the Naira symbol, the way it is typed here, it, it's not the what you will get on your keyboard. So what you will get close to it on your keyboard is the pound sign, which is not the actual Naira sign. So you can click on Naira sign and then insert. So this gets inserted into a cell. So now I have the Naira sign in this cell. What I can do now is to copy the Naira sign, Ctrl C, and then I go to file or I just use the shortcut Alt T O to go to Excel options. I do profine, I come here to auto correct options, 
and here what I want to replace is any type I type NGN like this I want to replace it with the Naira symbol that's it so I don't necessarily have to always go to insert to get the symbol out I click on add so this gets here I need to type NGN and then Excel converts it to the Naira symbol I click on OK I click on OK here so if I now do NGN here enter I get the Naira symbol and then if I do NGN I do 2000 you see that immediately Excel already converted it into the Naira symbol so this is how you can keep updating if there are um, words that you use frequently or there are symbols that you use frequently in your data entry works you can add it to um, the proofing side of things and then just get a shortcut that you normally would type and you want Excel to replace it with what you would like it to replace it with